maybe I'm weird, but I'm really pretty excited to drill some holes into the turtle shell. Mm. Sam is a redder slider who came in first thing this morning. Hold on, big girl. Because last night, she took a tumble out of her tank and got a pretty nasty fracture on her shell. A cracked shell is a common injury in the wild, but not so much for pet turtles like Sam. It was very scary when we found her. We went to see her aquarium. It was like a crime scene. The turtle was missing. There were kind of blood on the ground. We followed the trail around the house, which is really scary. We found Sam in a corner, really freaked out, put her in a bucket and drove on here. Hi, sweetheart. OK. Sorry, I forgot you're actually a turtle. You could bite me. Her fracture is pretty severe. It runs all the way along the side and then does go onto her bottom scoots right there. So I just want to get everything cleaned up first really well. The shell's really, really, it's bone. That's one of the reasons why I'm really need to fix it for her because every time she moves or tries to glide, it's going to shift and it's going to be a source of pain. But the main reason is, well, she's a water turtle, and she really needs to get back in the water as soon as possible. For red-eared sliders, home is where the water is. And Sam could spend up to 40 years in her home sweet turtle tank. Sam is really old now. She's 25 years. It has turned into a real family emergency the last like 24 hours to make sure she's OK. She's been around so long, and she's definitely part of the family. I'm going to have Tanya hold the turtle. You're going to push the edges together while I try to do the pilot hole. You can't do it too soft, but you don't want to do it too hard. It looks a little unconventional, but I'm actually going to take screws and put them into her shell. Is she reacting at all to that? Nope. It's amazing. The drill won't leave Sam shell-shocked. Dr. T is only placing screws in the outer shell, which is made of keratin, the same protein in human fingernails. OK, so now let's take the screwdriver. That is in there, man. And then I'll put one more here, and then you'll push it together. OK. I can take some wire and connect the two screws together to make a nice, tight seal so that time will eventually take over and heal the shell. Actually, that worked pretty well. OK. So let's do the top. Turtle shells are a marvel of form and function. About 60 bones fused together to make Sam's shell, which house and protect her organs. OK, I'm sorry. I'm real sorry. OK, probably only need a couple on the bottom, but I'm afraid it's going to get caught on things, because remember, this is going to be on this animal for like six months. Dr. Bruce Nixon is no stranger to shell repair and restoration. Hey, what are y'all doing? That We're trying turtle. to fix our turtle. Y'all yeah. fix this all the time, don't you? Yeah. What would you do for the bottom of that shell? I mean, I'll put screws underneath it, and I, then I was going to put the two-part plumber epoxy to kind of build up around it, so that this? way. You want to put something across the plastron here? Well, I need to do something there. You think it's opposed enough? I think it's lovely opposed. Oh, you wouldn't do anything to the bottom of the shell. I would not. That's that's lovely. Let me see it. Let me see the lovely. The lovely. Look at it. It's like perfect. Thanks. It'll heal wonderfully. Thank you so much. All right, Sam, you did a very good job. Thank you so much. I don't think anyone's going to make fun of her. She looks cute. Don't worry. Sam is a tough-looking terrapin with her new hardware. Even though her shell won't fully heal for a few months, she'll form a waterproof scar in just a week. Let's go home, Samantha. Hello. Hey. She did great. She doesn't look so bionic, just a little bit. It was kind of crazy seeing her with screws and stuff. Kind of badass. <laughs> That's right. But looks like she's going to be fine. For the next 10 days? Yep. She actually can't go back in the water. Yep. And this sounds a little weird, but I kind of want you to just like take the whole front half of her and just stick her in the water for yeah. like 30 seconds. Because remember, she's a water turtle, so she's used yeah. to being hydrated yeah. all the time. So, I wanted you to come back in a week ish, and then I'll inspect everything. OK. We're just going to watch her for the next few days and see if she's OK. Bye, Sam. I'll see you later, girlfriend. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Doc.